it's Sarah. I'm on a tree house in the jungle in Malaysia. Come glamping with me in a secluded resort. We'll go for a picnic, barbecue, and learn to put together a unique Malaysian dish made with local herbs and spices. Hi friends, from over there, we are on the way to my little honeymoon. This glamping site is less than an hour away from Kuala Lumpur. I haven't been on a real camping before, so I thought I will ease into tougher camping by going glamping first with all these amenities. We are finally here at Tia Rasa Escapes and we'll check in in a tent. Plenty of activities here. There is nature farming, there's jungle trekking, and there's horse riding as well. We picked our menu and decided on some activities before heading to our room. Iskanda is going to bring us to our camp with that buggy. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Uh -huh. Look at that! This is where we're staying for the night! Woohoo! We're here! Most of the accommodations are tents, but we chose a treehouse instead, which turns out to be a good and bad idea. Go. We have an open area downstairs to dine or hang out and our room is upstairs. Cute! Let's see what's inside. Oh, that's cute! This is our bed. Oh, there's a little doggy over there! Dalmatian, so cute! And then there's this um, tea corner. Let's look at the veranda. We have this little space for ourselves. Oh, nice. The bad idea is that the bathroom is semi-open, which means it allows a lot of bugs in, especially when it rains. They have his and her sink. The good idea is that we have a huge veranda overlooking trees and river. It's a lot more private and quiet here. I love the details and the decor so far um, and my new friend, I'll call this Donna the Dalmatian. There is this, what do you call that? Um, Red Indian hat. Hi. <laughs> this resort is beautiful and when the weather is good, there are plenty of physical activities that you can do at this open field. That's turn ball. At first glance, it doesn't look very exciting, but actually it's quite fun and I'm sweating already. After some games, we're going back to our tree house for our dinner. We are here to set up the barbecue. There's already some mosquitoes here, so remember to bring mosquito repellent and my husband is spraying it everywhere. We ordered a private barbecue under the tree house. Oh, They'll send all the food over, but you would have to cook it yourself. While my hardworking husband cooks, I wandered off to the farm. Abang, apa tu? I think it's long beans. Oh, kacang buncis. I'm going to cross the stream and go nearer. <laughs> all right, I am over here. I saw it. Can you see? Oh, labu apa? Okay, labu air. Okay, thanks. He said it's different from pumpkin. This is labu air. It's this big. And you can see the smaller ones growing. My husband said the lamb is almost ready. But now I'm just waiting to be served. When is it ready? <laughs> Hurry up, I'm hungry already. This makes me feel so loved. Okay, thank you. It was so fun to cook in the middle of the jungle and it happens to be a great decision because it started to rain heavily the entire evening. Luckily, you are kept entertained making and eating these. We're ready for dinner! Thank you for your hard work. Laksa, spaghetti, with sauce. 
barbecue the meat. For camping standard, Salad it's really it. not bad. I like that. I don't have to worry about cleaning up. Yeah, it's more, I like it. Well done. I'm most excited about this otak otak. Otak, which okay. means brains, like is grilled brown oh, fish flavoured with spices oh, and okay. coconut milk. Mm. Don't worry, there's no brains in it. This is so good. This particular type is popular in Peninsula Malaysia. It's wrapped in Mipa palm leaves and it's perfect for grilling. <laughs> it looks like a tongue. What is this actually? I have no idea. I smoked it the whole way all the way through. It's very well cooked. Oh! What is that? Ota Ota? Ota Ota, yeah. Oh! The kind you like. This is a mini Ota Ota. Okay. It's more moist than that. Yeah. This is the type of Ota Ota that's normally steamed. I keep packets of it in my freezer. But today I have it in the BBQ. I truly enjoyed eating oh. under a tree oh, house yeah. surrounded by sounds of crickets and raindrops. To me, it's really romantic. We are so full, so much food. Good morning, it's day two at the resort and now we're heading to the kitchen to make a special Malaysian rice dish. Before we cook, we'll have breakfast at the riverside. It's a simple breakfast with coffee, fruit juice, hash browns, baked beans, sausages, nasi lemak, bread with jam and butter. Morning chef! Morning Sarah! What are we cooking today? We are cooking nasi ulam. First, we'll learn how to make this blue rice. Nasi ulam, specially made from butterfly blue pea. Our ingredients here, we are planted in our farm. Wash the rice, place the rice in the pot, add down pandan, soak bunga telang in 2 litres water, 30 numbers of bunga telang, strain the flour out, add the water inside the rice, add little bit salt, cover, and we can straight away cook in the rice cooker. How many types of herbs do we have? We have about 9 types of herbs with one flour. This is fish. Oh, it's a kambong fish, fish oh. minced and cooked it dry. Steam it, we'll peel out, we'll remove the bone, then we will saute dry. What kind of herbs do we use? We'll find out in a while. And this is sambal blachan, shrimp paste. Side this sauce for nasi ulam. What is in this sambal? We have a shrimp paste, blachan, blachan, garlic, chili, onion, salt, lemon juice, that's it. This is my favorite. Actually, it's every Malaysian favorite sambal belacan. What sauce? We is call it budu. Oh, budu! Yeah. Can you explain more about budu? Uh, uh, budu is uh, from Kelantan, mm -hmm. and uh, it's tangy sauce, flavorsome for few types of uh, Malaysian cooking. Can you tell me more about this chicken? This chicken is a drumstick chicken, marinated in uh, turmeric. The so turmeric and maybe salt? No salt. We don't want to. Uh, give a double uh, strongness in the oh. chicken and in the sauce. The sauce already has all okay. the ingredients. Okay. Chili, galangkal, okay. onion, garlic, ginger, uh, lime leaf. We have ayam asap pera, pera paste here. Pepper and tamarind juice little bit. We have a spice as well. Star anise. Star anise. Club. Then we add the chicken. All right. Then we have but the chicken with the rest of the ayam masak merah paste. Cover it up. All right. Stir it gently. Make the chicken bind with the sauce. Control your flame to a similar level mm. for two minutes. Let the chicken cook well with the sauce. <coughs> it's spicy. Yeah, it's a uh, spicy. Sour and little bit sweet sauce. That is called ayam masak merah. What kind of sugar do you put in? We use gula melaka, palm sugar. I wish you can smell this. It's so lovely. Yeah, the sauce is all sticking onto the chicken. Yeah, this is the rice structure. The paste are really stick on the chicken. Ah. Well, and it will be 
very good when mixed with the rice. We've cooked the chicken, the herbs, all the ulam are ready, and we have the rice as well. Now we just need to assemble them on the plate. We'll start with a bowl of blue rice, then we add purple cabbage, kaffir lime leaves, lemongrass, torch ginger flour, fish flakes, laksa leaves, pink pomelo, ulam raja, chicken, toasted coconut flakes, fried shallots, and blue pea flour. Oh, it's beautiful! The supplement sauce as well, budu and sambal blachan. I hope you enjoyed our short cooking session. Now it's time for lunch. I'm going to mix it up. Mix all the ulam together, then pour in the sambal and budu and mix well. The sambal and the budu is really pronounced. And with all these different aromatic herbs, there's a burst of flavor inside my mouth. I like the crunch of the cabbage and this juicy pomelo. Now let's try the chicken that's beautifully coated with a sticky, sweet and spicy sauce. Sauce is rich, spicy and sweet. I can taste the spice now. I have to go with a bit of rice to balance the flavour. Mm. It's a delicious and healthy Malaysian dish. If you like, you can go for a dip, but I am so full now, so I'm going back to the house and rest for a bit and I'll go out and stay. I'll spend the next hour at the veranda overlooking the forest with this book by Seneca. It's called The Shortness of Life. I love this line. It is not that we have a short time to live, but we waste a lot of it. Life is long enough if you know how to use it. Not long after that, it started to rain again. No bonfire again for me tonight. Luckily, we went out in time to get some McDonald's at Genting Sempa and spend time in a room watching Korean dramas. No bonfire, no outdoor movie night, so we are stuck in a room playing... I won! Oh, you won! Oh. <laughs> It's our last day here, we are heading for breakfast. We chose the tree house, but I think these tents might be better to prevent bugs from coming in. While waiting for our picnic to set up, we played in the field by jumping on the trampoline! Hiya. For breakfast, you can request for a picnic. We have some fruits, pastries, hash brown, eggs, coffee, juice and noodles. Sounds good in theory. In practice, not so much. City boy, I think it is a romantic idea. They set up this picnic beside the river. When I lie down on the mat, I see tall trees and blue sky. There are a lot of resorts and restaurants around Janda Bay. This is only one of them. If you are interested, check out this video and I will continue enjoying my breakfast. Okay, for you, do so you want contrasting colors, colors side by side? side. So that's why we have purple first, then we have green, 